Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help resolve if you're having an issue with a valid ATAPI device cannot be found, meaning more likely than not you're having an issue with your CD or DVD drive on your computer. And this can typically be associated with the unknown driver notification. You might do your unknown driver slot or spot you were seeing in Device Manager. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu and type in Regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, you'll come back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything would go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and begin. And I'm going to have a registry path in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it and then paste it up in the top search bar. So just go ahead and delete whatever is in there. And then you can right click and paste or just have control V on your keyboard. And you want to hit enter. Now in the directory over here on the right side, you want to locate the lower and upper filters. You want to right click on them one at a time and then select delete. Select yes. Again, upper and lower filters. You want to delete both of them. And once that's done, you want to go ahead and close out of the registry editor and restart your computer. One final thing we can do as well is to run a system file checker scan. So open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And you can see that Windows Resource Protection did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Close out of here and you will need to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.